Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. And this morning, we're going to work on a small project that's easy enough for you to do. You could do this project with your children if you wanted to, or it's something that you could do while you're in the woods if you had some of the proper materials. The plants that are behind me in this video are poke, or pokeweed. And pokeweed is a plant that is an edible plant in certain stages of its life cycle if you prepare it and harvest it the correct way. But it's also a plant that is poisonous. And the berries of the pokeweed, which are dark purple in color, and we'll look at those closer in a minute, are always poisonous. But these berries make a very good dye, and they also make a very good ink for writing on paper. And you can use a quill pen to write with this ink if you were trying to make something out of natural material. And this is a turkey wing feather we're going to use today. So we're going to go through the process of making and adding a fixative to this ink from common household materials and then we're going to write on this paper and I'll show you what this dark purple or light purple ink depending on how much fixative you put in it makes the color vary a little bit but it's a purplish color and we'll show you what that looks like in the end of this video stay with me okay so we want the ripe purple berries off of this plant and we don't want the ones that are dried up and started to shrivel so we want to get the really nice bright purple ones that are good and ripe. Again, this is a poisonous plant. So if you're going to use your bare hands to harvest this stuff with, you're going to want to wash your hands after the fact. But you could just wear rubber gloves to harvest as well. But take yourself some kind of a small jar, depending on how you're going to process this. You can either smash it up in a jar and transfer it over and strain it, or you can collect it into a jar, pour it through a strainer, and smash it through a strainer. And that's what we're going to do. And I'll show you that process in a minute. But I first wanted to talk to you about which berries on this plant are the ones that you want to harvest versus the ones you don't want to harvest. And you're going to get this purple dye on your hands. And you'll see that. And that's basically exactly what you're going to make this ink out of. But you're going to want to wash it off your hands and be very careful because again it is poison I'm not worried about not washing my hands before I put them in my mouth because I know better but if you're doing this with your kid or something like that or with your youth or with a group of children you would want to have them wear rubber gloves doing this or possibly even harvest these berries beforehand and I'm gonna harvest about a quarter of this jar I'm going to fill with berries and then we'll start to process them down from there. Okay, so you can see what we've got here. Got a pretty good pile in there. And I've washed my hands once already with bleach. I'll wash them again when we're done. But what we're going to do now is we're going to take all of this and transfer it into a straining device. And we want to get everything that's solid out of this jar now. Now we're going to come back in and we're just going to make ourselves some type of a mortar and pestle device and this is just going to be a piece of wood that we have carved will work fine for this just a scrap piece of dowel rod is what this is and this is only going to release the juice from the berries this way and it's going to keep all of the stems and the seeds and the hulls and all of that stuff within the strainer. So we're just going to go through here and mash this up and drain all of the liquid down into our ink well, if that's what you want to call this mason type jar. And you can see, again, we have pretty much filled the strain device up with about a quarter of that jelly jar or jam jar of pokeweed and it's not going to make a whole lot of ink when we're done it's going to make just about an eighth or so of a jar of ink in here so it's going to take quite a bit of this but the good thing about it is pokeweeds are a really prolific plant and there's going to be a lot of it available to you to use and it's got a fairly long life cycle as well 
but you can make a lot of this and you can store it very easily once you've added fixative to it. So once you've got that done, you're pretty convinced you've got all the good juice out of there. I would just let it kind of sit and drain for a couple minutes just to make sure that everything's drained through there and then come back to it to add the ingredients of your fixative. All right, so once I've done that, I'm gonna come in, I'm going to add about a teaspoon or a quarter of a teaspoon, excuse me, about a quarter teaspoon of regular salt and then a teaspoon of vinegar and I'm using apple cider vinegar here for this you can use any type of vinegar you want to use and then I'm just going to put the lid on this thing really good and shake it up to get it mixed all right so I've got my ink set aside now I'm going to make my quill pen and again this is just the wing feather from a turkey and I'm going to come up here and strip it a little ways up just to give myself a comfortable place to put my hand and I'm going to look at how this thing lays in my hand being left-handed and make sure that the point is where I want it when I'm writing because we're just going to clip that off with our knife and we're going to clip it off at steeper than a 45 degree angle right there so once we decide our spot we want to clip it off at, we're just going to come in there at about a 30 degree angle and clip that thing off, just like that. And then we can just dress that tip up a little bit. And we want to clean any of these fibers out that are on the inside. And you can use a stick for that, you can use an awl for that, whatever you want to use will work fine, but you've got some material inside that feather that you're going to have to clean out so that it will absorb the ink or draw ink from the well into the quill. So once you've trimmed that down, this is about the angle that you're looking for. Just about a 30 degree angle. And you want this trimmed down fairly sharp. doesn't have to be a razor point but you want it fairly sharp that's going to dictate the width of the line that you're going to create when you write with this pen and if you just split the very tip of it about an eighth of an inch just like that it'll help spread that ink a little bit better on the page as well Now once you've done all that, it's pretty much as simple as just removing the lid, coming in here and filling the quill with ink. It should draw a little bit by itself. And then you can begin to right with that ink not too bad okay guys well i'm dave canterbury with self-reliance Outfitters in the pathfinder school and this has been a quick video on how to make pokeweed ink and the feather quill you can use other berry type juices like blackberry raspberry and things like that to get or achieve different colors of inks and they wouldn't be poisonous but pokeweed is a very traditional ink because the liquid's very thick. And you can use it without any fixative at all. You don't have to have the salt and you don't have to have the vinegar. But by adding the salt and the vinegar fixative, it will make that ink last a lot longer if you're going to store it for longer term use. But for bushcraft or being something that you make quickly in the bush, you do not necessarily have to have that. And you could easily strain these berries through some type of cotton material by constantly twisting it down to crush it to drain the juices out and then just burn or toss the material after the fact. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. 
I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends, and I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.